Welcome to this SharePoint Patterns and Practices short video and this time we'll have a look on how to add multiple web parts to SharePoint Framework solution. So let's jump right in, uh, into it. So here what we have is an existing solution which is just an uh, out-of-the-box hello world solution. So what we have here is just a default hello world uh, web part instance uh, generated by the Yeoman templates. There's kind of a two ways of adding a web part uh, on, the, on the solution and it depends really on your business requirements. So number one option is to actually add a new pre-configured entry for your web part. And this basically means the same as the .NET uh, .web part file, uh, if you're familiar with uh, .web part files in a classic SharePoint uh, web part scenario. So uh, essentially we'll have a different instance of the same implementation which has been configured then differently. So let me do here uh, some additional settings, additional uh, configuration. So essentially my property, default property uh, value is different for that instance comparing to this instance. In the case of Hello World Web Park, this is relatively uh, simple. So there's no really that big of a uh, difference when you're look, looking at the web part from a UI perspective, but it's a, if it's a, con, uh, let's say, complex web part, uh, the difference might be uh, much bigger. So let's actually call this another web part uh, so we can see the difference in the UI and move back on the console application and do call up serve. So we can actually see the web part in the local workbench. So this is going to compile uh, the web part. I'll transcompile uh, the web part, uh, the JavaScript from TypeScript to JavaScript. And now if we go to the web part picker, we can see two different instances of the same web part. The other one has a nice uh, sunny uh, icon and the one is the default value. You can say that that uh, sunny icon or sunny value has the additional configuration and the hello world one is with the default values. So now that's a different instance of a uh, different instance with the different default properties of the same web part. But how would I actually add an additional web part to that existing solution? So let me go back on my uh, console application and the, the only thing what you need to do is to run uh, the Microsoft uh, uh, SharePoint uh, generator one more time. So let's run a Yo Microsoft SharePoint. And this is going to start uh, the SharePoint client side solution generator. In this case, uh, we're adding a web part uh, to the solution. Let's call this a third web part, even though technically it's the second web part implementation, but it's a third instance which will be visible. And we can use the default description for it. And let's not actually use any JavaScript framework. And that's going to create us the basic structure for the web part. Because we're not actually creating a new solution structure in here. This is relatively fast operation. So already right now you could see those files within the Visual Studio Code solution. There we go. That's super fast. And we have a second web part available. So now if I go to my Visual Studio Code, uh, we can actually see that third web part available within the structure. So let's extend uh, that one. And there's our third web part uh, with the default, with the values, whatever I actually provided uh, in the Yeoman template generator. And now if, let's actually update the icon for this one as well. Uh, so we can see the difference uh, whenever we are surfacing that in the local workbench. Saving changes and moving back on my console application and running call up serve. We will start once again, my local workbench. And we can actually see the second uh, or three different instances of a web part. Two of them have a different, uh, same implementation, but the third one uh, is essentially the new one where we just added, which could be then implemented any way you want based on your business requirements. But that's it uh, for this video. So adding a new web part uh, to the existing SharePoint framework solution is as easy as running the Yo SharePoint uh, Microsoft SharePoint. Uh, command, uh, essentially running the Yeoman template one more time and adding that that's will add then the web part to your solution. So you can absolutely have multiple web parts in a single SharePoint framework solution, which is no doubt actually also recommended. So because that way you can combine multiple web parts in a single solution and have it more uh, containable or more complex solution uh, to be installed as one package to your SharePoint farm. But thank you for watching and that's it for this one.